I have just finished installing the whole, the complete electrical system on this uh, foot trailer. Let me show you. So here we are inside. Looks like this. Everything is uh, is new. Looks like this from the back. And uh, let's go uh, to the main breaker panel. This is the breaker panel here. On the top, on left uh, here, we have a 15 amp uh, breaker. That one is for the interior lights. Uh, exterior lights, 15 amps, uh, second one. The third one is for the refrigerator and for the exhaust fan. I'm gonna show you right now uh, where this one goes. Uh, has a, a dedicated uh, switch, actually outlet. Uh, this one is for the water heater and water pump. It's over there. Okay, that one is a dedicated outlet, one gang uh, outlet for uh, these two things. Then we have a 20 amp uh, breaker here, and uh, this one is for the outlets. Wiring everything, uh, as you can see, the main uh, uh, the power line is this one, and everything else we have uh, 12 2 wire and uh, 14 uh, 2 wire. The 15 amps breakers here will use the 14 2 wire, and everything else, the 20 amp breakers for the outlets, water pump, and uh, the refrigerator uh, goes with uh, the 12 2 wire. To distribute all this wiring as clean as possible inside the, the trailer, I've used, uh, I've used the steel uh, conduit, flexible one. I would uh, definitely go for the next one to buy the aluminium one. It's a little bit more expensive, but I'm pretty sure it's worth the, that kind of uh, expense. The 20 bucks, if you're buying a 100 feet, is 20 bucks more. So probably it's worth it because it's kind of uh, difficult to cut it. Uh, if you watch the other videos, I mean, you saw what I'm using to cut this one uh, faster. Uh, anyway, so uh, here we have the main um, uh, junction box. This one uh, goes to the switches, uh, outdoor and indoor uh, switches. And then these two are for the lighting. And from here, we are, I've separated all the lighting from um, the outdoors and the outlets. So what I'm saying that is as you can see this goes to the first uh, light and this conduit here uh, is everything, every, these three are connected uh, together. So uh, yeah, watch the detailed video and uh, probably it will be more, uh, more clear. Uh, let's go back here as you see, there is another junction box uh, located over here. This one is uh, dedicated for the outdoor lights, and there are two of them here in the in the front, in the corners. And the reason, and you're gonna see in the back, they are smaller. These are two gang, and the other one are one gang. The reason is that probably in the future, the owner of this uh, trailer will decide to go also with uh, some strip lights outside or something to be connected outside. So there is more space for, for the wiring. The conduit of tubing is uh, for the refrigerator, which is in the back there, refrigerator, uh, and the exhaust. That one is the um, refrigerator outlet, uh, one gang, and connected on that one is uh, also the variable speed controller, which uh, helps you uh, use the exhaust fan more efficiently. Uh, a switch, an on-off switch, would be a waste of um, comfort, as uh, probably most of the time uh, you will not leave it on on maximum uh, at uh, all the time. So you have this kind of flex flexibility to to choose from low, medium, or uh, high. Actually, let me show you how it works. Okay, so here we go. Maximum uh, speed. Probably you not want to go all the time like that. I already feel the uh, how the how it sucks the, the air. But you can check this out. This is the 
minimum uh, minimum speed, which is more livable in uh, in this space. So yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Now I'm in the back of the fridge. So this is the refrigerator here. Sinks. And uh, why I'm here, just to show you where I have uh, located, um, I've installed this um, outlet. Here's the wiring from the um, exhaust fan. And here are the, the, is a power line for the exhaust. In this junction box is the house also for the outlet that uh, powers the refrigerator okay and here it is if you are interested in uh, learning how to wire this kind of uh, system check out the other videos where I'm um, showing you exactly all the everything what I've done wiring this now from here from the breaker panel Let's go in uh, in the back. We have another junction box with uh, a two gang outlet. Probably never will never be used, but anyway, uh, there is one here for a POS probably over there. Yeah. Then let's follow the um, the line. We have uh, another one over here, probably for the for the television for the TV. It's over here in uh, it will be outside. So yeah, another one over here. And two more in the in the the back. One one uh, is over there, and another one is uh, over here. Let me focus. Bam. Yeah. As I told you earlier, there are smaller uh, conjun conjunction boxes uh, here in the in the in the back. As the main connection will be uh, more efficient to be made from uh, the the breaker panel there to that corner and the other corner, not to bring them over here. So everything will be connected over there anyway. Yes. And here ends uh, our circuit. We have nothing on uh, on this uh, wall. Besides, so this one is one end over there, and the other end is uh, over here. So yeah, nothing uh, on this uh, part. All the system is already tested, but just to see, I'm using this kind of uh, tester, and uh, the correct polarity is uh, red, red, or yeah, on, on, and off, on, on, off. In terms of the outdoor lighting, looks like this. We are using uh, 100 watt uh, floodlights, 12,000 uh, lumens. Let me show you on the other side. They are pretty bright, but uh, not uh, that kind of uh, lights that are blind that will blind your clients. Everything will be um, uh, just as it's supposed to be. I've been in so many food trucks uh, till now, so I can make myself an idea about, about how the electrical work is done and how the, the food trailer is maintained. So if you saw something uh, here that uh, you have done differently, if you have another method, if you are using different materials, different equipment, I would be very happy to, to hear about it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to work on uh, different uh, trailers in the future and uh, yeah, I'm, I don't want to be subjective on, on this thing. It's my first time doing it, but uh, I'm pretty sure it will not be my last time. So, any suggestions, any improvements, any uh, other way of doing the things would be helpful for, for me. And also, if you write them down, others can read that, uh, that those comments and uh, can learn from them. So, thank you for watching.